Hello and welcome to the Hoof Explorer walkthrough. My name is Jerry and I'm going to be taking you through the basic features of Hoof Explorer, how to use the toolbox, how to do searches, and basically how to use the site to your advantage. So first we're going to look at the toolbar. In the toolbar you can manually control how you view the horse hoof. You can spin it to the left and the right. You can move it up or down. You can zoom in or zoom out. You can move it left or right. You can spin it upwards and downwards. You can mirror it left or right. The mini map helps when you need to change your view but you don't want to move the horse hoof itself. You can quit the application by either pressing the quit button or pressing escape. There is also a master transparency menu in which you can control the transparency of either the entire image or individual parts. The settings menu allows you to adjust the frame rate or speed, the anti-aliasing or how smooth the image is, and the imaging effects or how clear the details are. You can also adjust your keyboard and mouse sensitivity and the sensitivity of the toolbox controls. In the bottom section you can choose whether or not text shows up when mousing over parts of the application. To change the language of Hoof Explorer, press the flag button in the toolbar to bring up the language menu. You can choose from German, English, Spanish, and Latin. The search tool is pretty cut and dry. Simply type in the part of the anatomy you need to find and it'll show up in the tree view menu. The tree view is where you can find all of the individual parts of the hoof structure to explore. To access the tree view, hit the tree view button on the bottom left of the toolbar. The tree view bar will pop open displaying all of the major systems. The bones, tendons, soft tissues, arteries, veins, nerves. When you click on any one of the systems, a drop down menu will appear showing each individual bit of that particular system. The little box to the right of each section is a transparency option box, which will cycle through being opaque to transparent. This also works for individual parts as well. When you click on each individual part, Hoof Explorer will automatically zoom in on that part. Now we're going to focus our attention on the presentation mode, and what the presentation mode allows you to do is to make slideshows in Hoof Explorer. So in order to get in presentation mode, you click the movie film looking button here which opens up the presentation menu. And then to pick something to choose, you click the anatomy tree button. And then once you have that open, choose a part to make a slide out of. After you've chosen something, press the plus button in order to add a slide of what you just chose. So let's say you wanna get rid of that slide and replace it with another one. What you do is you would click the little box on the left side until a check mark appears. And by the way, if you want to click all of your slides, click this little button over here, which looks like a bunch of gray pieces of paper. And if you want to uncheck all your slides, click the button below it, which looks like a bunch of pieces of white paper. So once you've checked the slide that you want to get rid of, just press the minus button and voila, the slide is gone. So now you can choose some more slides. So we're going to do that here. So once you've chosen all your slides, you can press the play button and it'll automatically play through the slides that you have selected. Also, if you would like automatic playback, you can click this button up here and it'll automatically cycle through your slides and will keep going continuously. You can adjust the time each slide shows itself in case it's going too fast or too slow. You can also save your slideshows to Hoof Explorer. It won't save to your hard drive, but it will save to the application and will stay in the application even if you close it, which is good. There's also a folder option for storing multiple slideshows, but as of yet, you can only store one, but we'll be working on that ASAP and we should have that option ready soon.